Today we're going to elevate the look of our room using curtain rings and hooks. Hey, I'm Nancy and this is Designer Savvy. Do you struggle with your curtains that don't close and don't open easily or that are too short and kind of look like high waters? Well, if that's the case, then today's video is for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this curtain down, this panel, then that panel, and we're going to add some clips. As you can see, these are the rod pocket type, and there's nothing really special um, about the hardware here. They're on a normal rod. I did hang them about as high as I could towards the ceiling, but a problem with this is that years ago, the standard way to hang a curtain was to attach it to the wood frame around your window. And there is approximately eight to 10 inches and sometimes more between the top frame of the window and your crown molding, if you have any, or your ceiling. And then also there's going to be typically around a foot of space below the window sill to the floor. So as we used to hang the curtains here in the wood um, frame around the window, the curtains would almost touch the floor. But now that we're raising our window treatments higher towards the ceiling, then that makes them shorter than they need to be off the floor. So we're gonna remedy this as much as we can that won't break the bank. And we are going to add clips to the top of this curtain. And that's gonna give us another two to three inches and put it closer to the floor. So if it's not in the budget to replace your entire window treatment, uh, if you don't wanna take the time to remove your brackets that are already in the wall and reposition them and spackle and touch up paint, then this is the next best thing. And you'll find the link to these clips from Amazon in the description box below. So the clips that I ordered have a gunmetal finish, just like the curtain rod and the curtain rod finials, and they could not more perfectly match. Here's how you add the clips. You take your curtain, fold it in half. You're gonna put a clip here and here on these ends, and then right here in the middle. So now we're going to place two clips right in the center here. So to find the center, fold it in half again. And right here is where you put your two clips on the inside and the outside. Now, when you open it up, this is what you have so far. And you can take two more clips and put between the center of these two, or you can fold in half and fold in half again. So this might be easier for some of you just to kind of eyeball it. It looks pretty good. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. So this takes a whole lot less time then removing your hardware and respackling and repainting. Here we go. We're going to hang these up now. So we have two clips on this end, plus two more is four, two more is six, two more is eight, and then this one right here makes nine. You can put more or less, but nine should do it for one panel. We're going to do the same thing for this panel, then I'm going to hang them and show you what a difference it makes. As you can see right here, this curtain ring is going to give us another two and a fourth inches to the length of our curtain. When you start to add your curtain to your rod, you want to be sure you turn it in this way instead of having the edge out like this. And as well, when you finish, you don't want to finish with your edge out. You want to turn it in and then add that ring to the rod so the unfinished edge is facing the wall. So I want to show you how to position your curtain so that the pleats are facing out. 
Everywhere that you have a clip, you want the front of the clip facing out and that will make your first pleat. And then you'll have a part that's concave that goes back in there. And then if you will just gather up the clips so that the fronts are facing out, concave part, clip. I'm gonna finish this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what it should look like. You have all of these pleats right here in front. And that's what it's supposed to look like so the curtains lay appropriately. Now, if you leave your curtain stationary, that's fine. They should lay like they're supposed to. You may need to steam them a little bit or you could iron them uh, if you wanna do that. And then you have your pretty pleats here in front and that's the look you're supposed to have. Now, if you pull your drapes back and forth, uh, that's gonna be a little more challenging, but that's okay. That's one of the main purposes for the hooks as well. Not only to elevate the look of your curtain and bring it up to date to 2021, but also uh, for ease of pulling your drapes or your curtains back and forth. And I love that as well. We did have eight inches before from the bottom of the curtain to the floor. And now, as you can see, we have five inches. If you got value from today's video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join my designer savvy family. And if you want some clips like these, it was a pack of 45 for $7.99 from Amazon. I'll have it linked below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.